Hello friends, uh, I am Satyendra and today in this video lecture I will tell you and explain you about the various or the uh, about the various important commutation relation in quantum mechanics. These commutation relations are extremely extremely important in CSIR net exam as well as for gate exams. Okay so let's see these commutation relation okay so the <clears throat> q represents the position it can be x y z p is the momentum it can be p x p y p z p x p y p z l is the angular momenta it can be l x l y or l z okay and as I already told you, Q is the position, it can be X, Y or Z, okay. Now, the first commutation relation which is very important is this one, okay. This is the commutation relation between position and linear momentum, okay. So, this is the relation and you should remember this okay here i and j may be equal to x y and z okay so in order to explain how this uh, formula works let us take an example okay so let's take that example in place of i let's take x j take y for and then just just this much only okay so that that equation gives us this thing okay but since in the delta function subscripts are unequal so the whole uh, this whole Kronecker delta will give you zero okay so this uh, this commutation is equals to zero okay so you got this okay how this uh, formula works okay so the so uh, <clears throat> this uh, this can also be written like x and then py okay then p y so that relation can also be written like this okay so this commutation is equals to zero okay let's take another example if the subscripts are x and x so let's take this then in this case it will give you i h naught the reason is that here you will have if here the delta function will be at this point the delta function will be delta x and x since this both are same so that will be equals to 1 so this is equals to i h naught and that is can also be written like this okay okay so uh, you understood that how we used this formula to find out various commutation relation between position and linear momentum okay okay so if you remember or just the one formula then you can definitely find out the lots of other commutation formulas okay okay now let's see this formula okay so this is also very important commutation formula between the this angular momentum and position so this this commutation in this commutation you are looking the two quantities the first is the l and that is the angular momentum and other is the position which can be x y or z okay so the formula is this in this whole formula is here okay so this is i h naught this is levi civita symbol okay and this is just the position okay okay so let's uh, see how this formula works okay so its application is uh, written here okay so uh, i have given the one example for that okay but before that you have to know what is levi civita symbol so the levi civita symbol is here okay and if you if the these subscripts move in the cyclic order like this i j k and then and uh, after that if uh, okay so a uh, little bit here is little bit mistake okay so the first there should be i j k then k i j okay and then it should be uh, then it should be like this this should be equals to j k 
i so in this fashion it will move in the cyclic order okay so if these subscripts move in this in the cyclic order okay like this like this and like this then the lewis inverters will will be equals to plus 1 okay if it moves in the cyclic order and if it moves in the anti cyclic order okay then it will give you minus 1 for example if you look at this this subscripts are not in cyclic fashion so that will give you minus 1 value okay so let's see about this let's take an example okay let's uh, put some values of i j and k and see what's hap going to happen okay so let's put i equals to x j equals to y then definitely this uh, k should be z okay and here the values will be x y z since these are cyclic it should be 1 so it should become in this form okay so this will come in this form you can see that qy is replaced replaced by y the reason is that that qy is just equals to y okay so this is how this formula worked okay in finding out the commutation various commutation relation so you can remember just one formula okay you have to remember just one formula and then you can find out a lots of other formula with the help of just one single formula okay so remember this and remember this okay in the similar way there are lots of other formula like this here it is p okay so uh, now you can also remember this formula this is the commutation relation between angular momenta and linear momenta and that also works in the similar fashion okay so the example of this is i am going to give it at this point okay so this is that example you can see that on taking x and y in the subscripts okay it come like they came like this and this equals to 1 so it gave this okay so uh, <clears throat> this commutation relation is also clear to you okay in the similar way this is also an important commutation relation between the two angular uh, <laughs> angular momenta okay so this is also like that and its example is given here okay this is the example of that okay and uh, then you can remember this it is also important okay so example of this is here okay this i can be equal to x y z so you should remember these commutation relation okay you should by heart it okay okay it is very important and it is used very oftenly in your csa or net exams okay so i hope you will remember it okay okay now now if f is the spin angular momenta quantum number and then it also then the spin actually spin also has some okay, important commutation relation so the first commutation relation is this okay and this is equals to 0 the example of this is here okay it is equals to 0 and the other commutation relation is this if you put the if the, if so and it is equals to this okay and its example is given here if you put the value of i j k equals to x y and z then it gives you this okay in the similar way it can uh, this form Formula, the single formula you can yield a lots of other commutation relation which you can make if you remember this so actually what my advice is that you should remember this because with the help of just these commutation relation you can really you can really make 50 60 70 commutation relations okay lots of commutation relations so you don't have to remember 50 60 commutation relations you just have to remember these two uh, sorry these uh, few the commutation relation okay and then you can easily find out other commutation relations okay friends thanks thank you very much please share this video with your friends like and subscribe this video okay thank you thank you very much